think I just ate a hair. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going to try to put as many questions in this video as I can, and then as many questions as I can in the other one. Um, but yeah, let's get started guys. How do you keep your hair to stay out of your face? How did you train it to stay a certain way? Okay, a lot of the time it's blow drying. Right when you get out of the shower, you have to blow dry it the same way, and this could take weeks. Every time you're in the shower, do it. When you blow dry your hair, if you want it back, blow dry it back. Yeah, the first time you do it isn't going to work out real great. The second time you do it, it's not going to work out real great. Sixth time you do it, it might start getting a little bit easier. Other things you can do is training your, ugh, my hair, my voice. Even when your hair is wet or dry, if you want it to stay back, put on a hat. This way your hair starts to know, like, okay, this is the way I'm supposed to flow kind of thing. When your hair is wet, you can do this, and it'll, when you take it off, it'll have dried like that. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Or if it's dry and it's um, not kind of going exactly the way you wanted, pop on a hat and it'll help. Headbands to hold it back too will also help. Style it upwards because I know a lot of people have problems with that. One thing you can do is a ponytail. If your hair is long enough, that is. Do a who bun right on top of your head only when you're home, just like this, and leave it for an hour or two. This will help your hair know to stay upwards. Um, also, this volumizing gel really helps me. This is what I use every time I want to faux hawk my hair or put it upwards. And then the tuffing brush. And a lot of people say tuffing doesn't work, and I used to say that because I had really thick hair. A, you need to thin your hair. If you have super thick hair, no matter what you do, it will always fall down because it's super thick, which makes it heavy, which is what you don't want. So first off, thin your hair, bitch. I have super fucking thin hair and I can make my hair stand up, so thin it. Secondly, a lot of people tough wrong. You're not just going to go in and just meh, 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 and just hope it works. What you do is you take a section of hair. Don't get it too big. If you take too big of a section, it won't tough right. Take a bit of a section. Don't have it go too far back either because you're going to have to do it layer by layer. So like a section like this, it could be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, it doesn't matter. Hold it by the top and just brush downwards. See, I'm not going all the way up here because I don't want that. I just want volume at the roots. And just tough towards the bottom. Keep pulling, pull your hair upwards, tough towards the bottom, and let go. Do you see that shit? See? It holds in place. Now keep in mind, I also have product in my hair. I have this in my hair you see me put in. I have this in my hair, the Firm Hold Hairspray. And I have this. Not a lot of product, but look, it's staying completely up. I can move my hair and it's still like the top is moving, but that's because the top's light. You want the top to be able to move. If the top can't move, then your hair is just going to be too heavy. And so whenever a wind hits it or anything, it's just going to flop all over and fall apart. You need some movement in your hair so that when wind gets it or something, it doesn't completely mess it up. It just kind of makes it a little bit messy. Anyways, that's my little toughing advice because toughing honestly works with 90% of people's hair. It's just that you have to do it right. And I understand that a lot of people don't know how to do it right and that's so not your fault. But I just thought I would show you like that's how you do it. You don't need to overdo it or underdo it. Like just pull it upwards, hold the top of your hair. You don't want to maybe halfway, I would say. Maybe a little bit less than halfway. And then just start dragging it downwards. You're not going up and forth. You're just dragging your brush down on your hair, lifting it away, going back to the middle, dragging it downwards, lifting away. You're not like, how to explain this? You're not like going back and forth and back and forth, back and forth. You're just taking brush, taking brush, taking brush. Like that's all you're doing. And that's what creates it. Because what you're doing is you're pulling hairs down and matting them together. And you're pulling hairs down and matting them together. And you're pulling hairs down and matting them together. If you're going up and forth with your tuffing brush, what you're doing is you're pulling your hair down and then you're ripping it back up. And then you're pulling more hair down and then you're ripping it back up. So you're not really tuffing it to the best of your abilities. You're just kind of making a mess. 
and that's not what you want. You want to tough it down, and then you want to tough another layer down, and then you don't want to tough another layer down. That's what you want to do. Instead of going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you don't want to go too high either because then your hair gets heavy and then that's when it flops over. Hope that was helpful. Hope that little toughing exercise was helpful. Cupcake Candace XO asks, how do you get your hair to stay up with some of the styles you do in your other videos? I bought the Redken Rough Paste. My hair doesn't hold volume at all and it doesn't like toughing. I feel like that goes in with the last thing I just said. Um, if you're having a problem with volume, definitely get this. Like I said, the Redken Rough Paste isn't to help with volume, it's to help shape your hair. Like, okay. Demonstrations are just the bestest today. Okay, so. I'm just gonna pull some hairs down. And I want, cause I want you to see that they're like just frayed and they're not styled at all. I'm gonna take some Redken, I need to get more. So I'm hoping there's enough to like, do this. I'm just taking a tiny little glob like that, rubbing it into all of my fingers, all three of them, because if, if it's still white on your fingers, you have too much product on that hand. It should kind of go clear a little bit. And we're going to work this downwards. I want to work this into a point just to show you guys that that's what this can do. Do you see? Do you see that point at the end there? You see how it was all frayed before and now it's not? That's what you can do with this stuff. Like you can really, um, it's kind of for detailing. Like right when you're basically done your hair but you've got a couple pieces that you just want to, you know, mold and mend to really like make the hairstyle. It also it's good at, um, for these like back styles to like, you know those frizzy little hairs that always, to smooth them right down for that too so that's what this is like that's like the purpose of this is more for like detailing it's not for volume at all if you want volume if you have um, thick or thin hair I think you should get definitely get this uh, or something like it a volume building gel that's what you're gonna have to look for and if you have thin hair or to be honest what I personally like to do is thin my hair a lot and then get this and use this because then I can control how thick I want my hair to be so if you have thick hair but thin it or if you have thin hair you can get this the AG hair cosmetics volume plastic extreme volumizer you definitely want to get uh, an extreme volumizer just to help your hair with that oomph baby girl Burfinsk? Burfinsk? How do you make your hair stay up? Mine's always going back in minutes. I feel like I kind of also um, talked about that. Another thing you can do is take a volumizing hairspray after you've properly tufted and just give a little ch right at the roots. Don't go up the hair. People always want to coat like the whole hair with product and stuff. And most of the time you don't need to, especially if you want it to stay up. You want it to be as light as possible. Uh, so what I do is I'll spray the roots a little bit just so that um, the, the tuffing at the roots holds. But I never want to spray the top of my hair when I do a faux hawk because that causes the hair to get heavy and that's what causes it to fall over or not to stay up all day. Things like that. F6 Molly asks, same with it staying up. Also, if you cut it yourself, what do you use? How do you make it girly? I kind of showed already what I use to cut it and how to style it. Actually, a lot of the time with making it girly is your makeup. I find that... Um, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> I find that um, your makeup can be your most powerful thing, especially when making something more girly. If you have really girly makeup on, no matter what your hairstyle is, you can have like dread, not dreadlocks, what is it? Like um, really tight braids, cornrows, there we go. You could have like cornrows in and you would look so feminine. Like I've seen girls rock that, you know what I mean? So I, I think actually makeup would be the best thing. Um, to make it more feminine personally not that it can't be feminine without but if you are worried about that um, putting on a good layer of like some really girly makeup maybe a little bit of winged eyeliner some pink lipstick some really nice lashes but you can also add um, accessories from like Claire's or Ardeen's like little flowers or like glittery things always definitely also helps make it more feminine Peggy Opal is your name fleek be pretty cool if it was then you could say hairs on fleek I am on fleek, actually. My nickname is Fleek, so how did you know? Ruteu99 says, do you 
do you wear dresses and skirts? I want to get a pixie cut, but I also love dresses and skirts, so I don't know if it looks good with that kind of hairstyle. It definitely does. I've seen so many pictures of girls with dresses and skirts, and I think they look awesome. I don't wear dresses and skirts that often, because where I live, it's actually pretty windy most of the time, and so I don't feel comfortable, because the skirts that I, the dresses anyways, I usually like are those like summer flowy ones that are short, and just like, yeah! <laughs> Don't know why that's a thing, but it is. Um, and so I just don't usually wear them because I'm not comfortable in them. I did go to a, like, what was it, like an 80s style diner with my friend uh, once, and I did wear a skirt there. I'll insert a picture here. And it was super cute, you know, we had a long time. That was way back when my hair was black. Like, whew, it's been a while. Um, but no, I think they, they look so good. I honestly just don't really have any skirts or dresses that I would wear, which is the only reason why I don't. But that's it. That's all, guys. I hope that these videos were super informative. I didn't want to... I could have edited them and, like, cut a bunch of stuff out so that they fit into one video, but I didn't want to because I felt like some questions really needed, like, a deep explanation, and I didn't want to, like, cut that off because I wanted it to fit in to one video. Do you know what I mean? So I thought it would just be better if I made it two videos. But I also didn't want it to be a 20 minute long video, which it also could have been. I know my last one was, so I'm like trying to stay away from that because we don't like that. I know you guys don't like that. I get it. It's okay. But anyways, um, if you like this video or found it informative, please give it a big thumb up and please share it. Um, comment down below if you have any other pixie questions or anything to do with hair or anything like that. Um, just remember if you have commented down below if you have any privacy settings, I can't reply to you directly So what I do is I like your comment and then I put your username at the top and my reply underneath um, So that you know that I'm talking to you in the newsfeed, so I will reply to you somewhere in the newsfeed So if I've liked your comment, I have replied to you and uh, but if you don't have any YouTube privacy settings Then forget it. I just said that um, if you want to follow me on my social media or know when the next Q&A is coming or anything like that, um, yeah, follow me on my social media. Sorry, I've been talking for so long. I'm just like, ah. um, yeah, follow me on my social media. On Twitter, it's at K-S-B-E-L-L-A-N-G-E-R. And on Instagram, Google Plus, and Tumblr, it is XOXO Pretty Bitches. And on Facebook, it's www.facebook.com slash tinkthemadscientist. Oh my god, but yeah, I think that's it, finally, oh my god, I'm exhausted. Anyways, I think that's it, thank you so so much for watching, and I will see you pretty bitches in my next video.